can you speak to the importance of knowing who you are as a person while navigating this industry? I think it's key. Um, I just had this conversation with an actor friend, I think yesterday. But really knowing, first of all, I, I say there are two people who, if you want to be in this business, it, it's those who really want it and those who can't live without it. Which one are you? Because it's not an easy business. There's a lot of people in it. There are a lot of people that want to do the same thing. And you're going to get a lot of no's before you get that yes. That can change things for you. So you have to really know what's what you want to do. And then be willing to put in everything that it takes to get you to that place. So I think first just knowing within who you are if it's for you. Uh, I usually start anything I talk to actors about is that there's anything else in your life you could do to make you happy, go do that. <laughs> don't do this. And if I can talk you out of it in five minutes, you don't want it badly enough. And it is the hardest thing you can choose for yourself. And um, some will make it, some won't. You have to really, really want it. And, uh, and, and then it's still hard. But at least that will separate people who are just passing through because they shouldn't be wasting their time. And it's realistic. I mean, y you need a way to support yourself while you're struggling and while you're becoming uh, a working actor. Um, and, you know, the people are wait waiters. And, you know, I'm always interested in how I ask actors a lot of times when I meet new actors, well, how are you managing? You know, assuming they don't have a trust fund. <laughs> how many people have that? Um, it's really, you have to have some kind of a job to make money um, that allows you enough time to work at acting and work at your auditions and go to your classes. And that might mean things where you work weekends or nights or whatever it is. And, and there's a, I, I really admire so many creative jobs that many actors I meet have while they're, f they're making some kind of a living so that they continue to pursue acting. And you have to have it because you're not, you know, it's just that's the reality of life. And you have to have a lot of free time to be an actor, meaning in the daytime, because that's when the auditions are. Can a, Robbie, a Christian be an actor? Uh, and if so, what parameters should they set on roles they take? Well, absolutely, yes, a Christian can be an actor. And in terms of what parameters, you have to really know, again, um, why you're doing it, number one. Number two, what you are willing to do to be in it. And then number three, where, with whatever role that might be questionable for you, just in your heart, how does it really make you feel? Once um, you step out of it, if you'll be able to separate yourself from it, and if um, you can live with it as it being on the screen and not who you are, you're just portraying a character. So is there a point of conviction a believer or a Christian should have um, as an actor, or you're, you're just saying to be sure you can make the distinction when you are on camera versus off camera. I think you have to have, you know, um, a kind of a, a measuring point personally. Um, so it's a little bit of both, being able to make that distinction and then know what is enough or what is too much for you at the end of the day. Um, this is to Lori. Can you answer that too? Are you comfortable? Um, <laughs> I'm, well, no, I don't know. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm not sure what you mean. I, I, I'm going right. to substitute Christian for good person. Yes, Is that that's okay. Fine. Yep, All right. You can do that too. I'm Jewish, so that's the best I can do. Absolutely. Come. <laughs> that, that's, that's why I said, are you comfortable as, answering yeah, that question? As yes. a good person. As yeah. a good person. Oh, yeah, I, absolutely. I mean, the, the, you know, the, the beauty of television is we don't allow nudity. We don't allow real swearing, so you don't have to ever worry about that stuff. And playing a character is just, just separating yourself when you go home. Don't take it home with you. Um, there's a show on CBS called Criminal Minds that um, 
Yeah, and and um, I heard of an actress that was was withdrawing from the show, and I said to the studio person, "Why would she do that? She's so good on the show, and why you know they write good stuff for her and everything." And he said that this this show takes a toll on actors. It's so dark, and it's so it's the mind of criminals, of serial killers, of rapists, of the the real dregs of the of the society. <laughs> And after a few years, you can't do it anymore. And I, that meant so much to me that somebody would actually leave a, a good paying job on a network television show because it was just too much on the dark side. It was changing them, and they didn't want to be changed that way. So I think is that's kind of what you mean yeah. by, yeah, and, and so it does come up. But, um, you know, whatever roles you play, that's not really you. You're playing the role. And if and if her role is offensive to you, or just like this actress, too much in the dark side, um, you know, case by case. Honestly, it won't come up that much. I don't, I don't think that's anything you need to worry about, especially when you're starting your career. Other than, I guess, in features, Robbie, you know more about nudity and things like that that people have to deal with. But in television, we really don't deal with that. 